Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 13 Thoughts. This episode is called Parting Shot. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything that came out after this episode first premiered. So, we open on the... Yeah, Bobby and Lance both being accused of murder. And, you know, Bobby... Yeah, he, the, the guy is like... You know, what What do you have to say for yourself? And, you know, she's, she's like ordering a cheeseburger. And I just wish he would respond, Would you like a good one or is McDonald's okay? And then we have the... Uh, let's see. The, yeah, there we go. Um... Yeah, we jump back 34 hours earlier. And throughout the rest of the episode, it keeps cutting back and forth between the interrogation and what actually happened. This does a really good job of setting up the, you know, yeah, this is it. There are consequences. They can't get out of this one. Let's see, and yeah, we have the not in my backyard thing, and they talk about, you know, maybe it's supposed to be a prison for inhumans. <laughs> I like that they almost, like, I think, yeah, Lance is like, did you watch that documentary? The, the yeah, that documentary that I recommended, and Fitz is like, the one about the Amazon. Oh my God! You know, even Shield agents can get caught up in, you know, gushing over a compelling documentary. Right. I like that Lance keeps insisting. No, we were there for mushrooms. And you know, throughout the episode, you know, he at one point like he gets on the plane. And one of them's like, "What's that? Mushroom? You want to know my secret?" I'm always angry. Also, chicken bouillon. So that's a no. That's a big no. And, yeah, they talk about, you know, have they ever been on vacation? And that's another thing. You know, throughout the episode, they keep talking about, you know, is this, you know, what, what would we do? If we weren't S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, if we didn't have to be that, which again sets up, you know, if you're watching a piece of fiction and several characters keep talking about their plans for the future, for like retirement or something, either they're two weeks away from retirement and it's not going to happen and that's going to motivate someone else, or they are 100% going to retire or go on vacation or something. Very cool fight. I like the, you know, they're, they're like, we're tourists, you know, we, the, um, the, was it the cell phone ran out of battery, we don't have a map, could you guys, you know, just, yeah, that was, that was quite fun, and I like the misdirect, because when we see that scene, we're like, oh, that's how they got arrested, but it's not, that's, it's only at the end of the episode that they're actually arrested. And, you know, and, and you could easily see how that could have been them getting arrested. And then when we, you know, the, uh, the rest of the episode is, the, is after they get back out of the, the arrest or maybe the other characters doing something while they're arrested and freeing them at the very end or something. <laughs> so Daisy dated a Russian hacker but only learned the dirty words, which, yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. And, yeah, we have the, the lie detector scene, and, yeah, even the baseline questions Lance refuses to answer, honestly. And I like that the way they 
get across that it's been many, many hours is the, the bin slowly filling up with one empty coffee cup after another. And... Yeah, uh, the fact that, you know, Bobby says, I didn't kill that man, the, the inspector acts like, oh, so that's a, conf you know, you're saying Lance did, which he's going to count as a confession. Let's see. Yeah, and, and Malik says, you know, like, oh, you know, can you imagine if the American government hadn't been so nice as to make, you know, reservations for the Native Americans? Which, like, holy crap, that is, I, I mean, yeah, he would think that, wouldn't he? That is, that is how Nazis think about that whole, you know, oh, it wasn't genocide, we saved them! And, yeah, they talk about, you know, this could be the first inhuman politician, which, of course, changes things. And ultimately, that doesn't really go anywhere, but I do appreciate the, the weight of that. And, yeah, it's, it's a coup, which, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Again, you know, Gideon Malik being, you know, a fascist trying to take take down various countries like that. Let's see, and yeah, uh, May reiterates that they're not, you know, she and Lance are not friends, and I do appreciate this thing, you know, Lance is like, anyone can snap a, a neck, and May's like, you know what, you're right, anyone could snap a neck. Would you like me to demonstrate that? You know, like, that's that's her way of saying, stop talking about Andrew. And, yeah, talking about the greater good. And, yeah, so he snapped the neck of the other guy without even touching him, which, you know, it turns out to have been through the, the power that he has, the shadow thing. Spotsiba, de nada. I mean, if you don't know that, it's, it's the right words, it's just the wrong language, that's all. And then we have, yeah, the Prime Minister is arriving, which, yeah, holy crap. And, yeah, we see that the shadow moves. Great fight between the the shadow and the, the yeah, the various S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. You know, Mac, um, Bobby, and, wait, was Bob, crap, I, I don't remember exactly who, but several of them. I think Bobby and um, Daisy. And, yeah, it was especially cool. There's, like, this one, like, long take where the camera is, like, turning around and, you know, the, yeah, characters are being punched. And just, yeah. And, yeah, Bobby manages to shoot the general, which, you know, knocks out the shadow but does get them arrested. Let's see. There are no cheeseburgers where we're going. It's kind of funny, playing a, a line like that straight. And I, I do appreciate, you know, at the start of the episode, she says she would like a cheeseburger. And then when Lance gets there, I bet, you know, he's like, I bet you would like a cheeseburger. So, you know, they know each other so well. And, yeah, you know, Coulson takes out the, the camera and such, but the the, you know... They're, they are out of options. There is no way for them to keep this, you know, it, it will, you know, if, if they are confirmed as members of an American spy agency and they killed Russians on Russian soil, yeah, you know, that is, I, I think 
let's see, they said like Cold War or like that that sort of thing. You know, it's yeah, that's a huge problem. So yeah, I like Coulson just roasting the prime minister. He's like, so it sure is nice of them to take out every single one of your op opposition members. Bet you, bet you're really happy that they saved your life, huh? And and meanwhile, you know, the president is like, I can't believe this guy. And but but yeah, you know, it is very accurate that, you know, it's it's actually, it is the the policy, of the the Russian, you know, yeah, Russian Russian government. You know, since the the, you know the the revolution since possibly also in the in the days of the czar but certainly after you know it, it is policy to not admit if someone from another country did something that really helped them you know it was it was true in stalin's day it's true in you know today with putin and yeah and we have the yeah, you know, you've got an admirer, and it's a spy's goodbye, and it is legitimately moving. I I will say that, you know, yeah, especially like Mac, who's been working with Bobby since before either of them met the main, you know, the, yeah, the main cast that they joined, the the main cast from the first season. You know, they've already been working together for a long time, put each other's put their lives in each other's hands and yeah and yes so the the very last scene introduces us to Stephanie Malik Gideon's daughter who's even better at skeet shooting than he is and yeah you know she's aware of um, Hell Beast, but you know what was it? They, um, yeah, you know. So that's and and you know, hoping that Shield have no idea that he's that Hell Beast is working with with Hydra. So some IMDb trivia. Let's see. At the bar before the spies goodbye, Bobby and Hunter are drinking from two bottles of Bendiri English Ale, a fake beer named after actor Nick Blood's friend, Benjamin Deary. Right, Benjamin Deary, Ben Deary. This type of beer has made several appearances since Hunter's introduction on the show. Right, and yeah, Bobby's codename Bird is a reference to a codename from the comics, Mockingbird. Adrian Palicki was named as an honorable mention for Seed Lions Performer of the Week for the week of March 20, 2016 for her performance in this episode. Daisy mentioned dating a Russian hacker. This could be a reference to Kurt from Ant-Man. I mean, I'm not one to, like, I don't have any problem with May-December romances, but I would just like to point out there is... Oh, okay, only a 13-year age difference. i not going to lie. I, I thought that it would be more. Um, sorry, David Desmalchian. Your, your face has character, is what, I'm, is what I'm saying. And, yeah. So, this episode was meant to be a backdoor pilot for Marvel's Most Wanted. Set for 2016-2017 season, this show would have featured Bobby and Hunter's adventures post-Shield. ABC elected not to pick up the series, and yeah, um, that really sucks. I think that would have been a very cool spinoff. I 100% see how the two of them, you know, there would be an additional cast, actually, if you really want to be frustrated, the... Let's see, it's, uh, huh, I could have sworn I saw, oh, wait, no, it's not, yeah, yeah, here we go, yes. Um, in addition to the two of them, the show would have featured Odette Fair, perhaps 
best known for the Mummy movies. You know, yeah, really, really love that guy. Right, and he played uh, Carlos Oliveira in some of the Resident Evil movies. And Delroy Lindo, which just, yeah. I miss seeing him and stuff. He's, he's amazing. Um, McKenna Grace, do I know a McKenna? Oh, right, right, yeah, the, um, um, Ghostbusters. And I, Tonya, yeah, yeah, she's been in, in stuff that, yeah. It's, Laura, right, Laura Allen was supposed to be in it. From the 4400. Yeah. Uh, and someone called Fernanda Andrade and Damon Dayub. I don't think I know them, but. Oh, that's right. Fernanda Andrade was on Moon Knight later. Um. um is it a spoiler to say who she played? I'll just say she was she was really great in in that. Um, yeah, I, it would have been really really cool. Um, so yeah, it's it sucks that it didn't. You know, it the the Adrian Palicki has a really like she's been very unlucky with with these. You know, so, yeah, she was written off the show specifically so she could be on that show. Then that show didn't take off. She was in, you know, she played Wonder Woman in the failed Wonder Woman pilot, which I've seen clips of. I don't think she was the problem. I think she did what they asked her to do. She tried to make it work. You know, I think there were a lot of bad decisions made for that. Uh, let's see. I feel like there was at least one other thing. I mean, she was on From Dusk Till Dawn. I'm not sure if that was cancelled or it ran its natural course. Um, and certainly, I, I think the Orville... Well, wait, was the Orville cancelled or are we just not sure if there will be... More seasons. Anyway, but yeah, um, she's great. I really, I feel bad for her for having this, this unfortunate streak with, uh, you know, yeah, she was also on Smallville, which I feel like I heard somewhere that her role on that was supposed to be a bigger thing than it ended up being, and yeah. Right, and the last bit of IMDb trivia for this episode, Hunter mentions Bora Bora as a possible location to live. The airport code for Bora Bora is B-O-B, -B, Bob, which is his pet name for Bobby Morse. And I am really looking forward to more of Gideon's daughter. She's played by Bethany Joy Lenz, who... Oh, right, she wasn't thinner, wasn't she? That was, yeah, way back when. She appeared on Charmed. Oh, she was on Felicity. I actually, I have. I don't think I've seen any Felicity. I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't. Um, yeah, she was on some Dexter, Grey's Anatomy, and, you know, what I, when I think of her, the first, you know, I the moment I saw her, I was like, I know that face. I know her. Where do I know her from? Had to look it up. One Tree Hill, Haley James, and yeah, it's it's really really cool that she, you know, she was not necessarily the biggest badass on that. So yeah, she's already more badass in the in her one scene here than if you take all of the badassness of her appearances on that show and combine at least as far as I remember but I'm honestly not entirely that wow that show ran for much longer than I thought holy crap nine years I don't I'm not sure I watched past like a year three or something like that but yeah anyway um I 
uh, I might be able to do an episode of the show tomorrow, and if not, definitely should be able to do it Saturday. And until then, if you are ever arrested and confronted with the fact that you were caught with a weapon standing over a dead man, make sure to note an unfortunate circumstance. <laughs>